harshwardhanart.com unleash the creative in you and now you can see that we have a black mask so in order to make certain part of this texture visible we need to have a select the white color so we have selected white color and how it works just click and drag it okay and you can see that how it has created a black to white gradient let me show you you can see it has gradated into it and you can see the texture it is coming out more effectively and we are getting a very pleasing result since this is a linear gradient we have created this from this side to this side or if I click here it will show it this side to this side and if I click and drag from this side to this side it will create this kind of a gradient but what if you want the gradient in one click something like this where the inner part is not visible and the outer part is visible so that means in another way you want to create a vignette effect with this texture so what we can do let me press control backspace and from this option we need to select this radial gradient if you hover your mouse over it you can see it shows us the option radial gradient okay so now we have selected now what we are supposed to do we need to click in the middle and, and drag to one of the corner and that way it will create the vignette effect like gradient but the problem here is that it has given us the reverse effect so we can do one thing to fix it by pressing ctrl i to invert the mask or if you don't want to do that check this reverse checkbox and now if you click in the middle and drag it outside you will see now it has created the vignette effect but still it is not perfect and the way we want it so let's take the brush softest brush again okay and lower down its opacity to around 20 to 10 percent 11 percent and with the black color we want to remove this from this part of the image okay so we need to slowly paint over it and this texture would be hidden from the faces okay and that way we'll be having very pleasant result and that would be more fine tuning but since you can see that this texture is way too heavy or way too hard what we can do we can lower down its opacity from here and boom now it's looking more pleasing another thing you can do is change this layer blend mode so go to soft light or overlay and this time let's increase its opacity and that way it is also looking good and if you are not happy with the result try different one okay this one is also looking good and darken linear burn color burn multiply multiply is also looking good but we need to lower down its opacity and there is no hard and fast rule it all depends what kind of a result you want and what you like so this is it this is how the mask tool works so thank you so much